Here I am, Annabella, 25, my modeling career supposedly on the rise, but it was all downhill from here. Beautiful, empty, shallow. It all started with just a few words. I need some air. Those words changed my life. This is what I brought you, this you can keep. This is what I brought you, may forget me. I promise you my heart, just promise to sing. Kiss my eyes and lay me to sleep. It's funny, I suppose, in a bitterly ironic kind of way, that even when you've been falling for so long, it still comes as a shock when you finally hit the ground. Reality is clear, crisp, colorless, but the world I awoke to, it was something different entirely. I opened my eyes and I saw for the first time in my life. Flashes of reality invaded the otherwise otherworldly scene. From unexplained evidence maps and I felt a joy that I thought I had left behind years ago. Supplied by design, it's 500 lovely contact microphones. And then I heard it. What are you looking for? What are you looking for? It was more of an echo in my head than an actual sound. It seemed to be coming from the bushes, from a a cute little kitten. I am not a kitty. I am not a kitty. Kitty. It echoed back. I'm your guide. Whether I'm you your like guide, it or not, and I would like it or not, and I would appreciate some respect. Focus. Focus. Focus, Focus girl. <laughs> I'm working with a child. The cat and his words forgotten, I simply resumed enjoying the day. Ahem, the cat reasserted his presence. I suppose, I suppose there is time for such childish games. But look, you're here for a reason. You're here to find, find something. something. My, job My job is to help, help you. you. But until you decide to stop fooling stop around, fooling around, let me do my job. do my job. I will be right here, take right here, taking a nap. I was more shocked by the cat's attitude rather than his speech is a testament to the strangeness of this world. I laid my head down on a bed of grass and awoke with ice in my veins. I opened my eyes and I knew this is death's country. Are you ready? Ready? Listen, Listen to me now. To me now. You're here, You're here to, find to find something. something. What are you looking, looking for? for? beautiful scene around me had faded, had changed. The beauty, it was just slipping away, like sand through a sieve, life 
beauty, color, falling away. I became desperate for something, anything to hold on to, but it all just slipped through my fingers. With nowhere else to turn, I ran. Falling apart, pieces of me left behind and still, still running, blindly. It wasn't even death that terrified me so, but withering, the passing of beauty so ephemeral in nature. And then that cat, asking again, what are you looking, what are you looking, looking for? I can't, I can't find it for you. What, what are you looking for? So I looked, I looked for any stupid cliche just to satisfy that eerie echoing voice. Are we all broken? I tried. Look deeper, look deeper, girl. I can't do this for you. You have to look. Do this for you. You have to look. An animal cage. I faced my fate with trembling hands and wide, terror-struck eyes. What do you want? What do I have to say? Please. Maybe there was never anything to say. I was fading. And then, I was gone. I. No longer I drifted farther away and farther. I witnessed the birth of stars, felt the concussions crash through my lungs as planets imploded, flinched away from the searing white light of the supernova. I lived these experiences from the viewpoint of a passive observer, seeing through the eyes of an endless expanse of space. Some faraway human part of me, unattainable, unreachable, urged me to cry out, to exclaim, but I would face these feelings later, as now I floated numbly, completely absorbed by the overwhelming forces around me. First a dull throb, and then a pain, more searing than any so supernova could ever claim to be, brought me back to the real world. Sometimes, the hardest part of the journey is coming home. Eighty-three years, the average life expectancy of an American. 10 billion years, the average life expectancy of a star. Both figures are nothing in comparison with the age of the universe. We may seek immortality through our ideas, our art, our creations, but inevitably, as human beings, we are temporary, as are our creations on rock, canvas, or pixels on a computer screen, as all will one day vanish. Even our planet Earth, believed to be eternal in our frame of mind, will one day vanish. Only the glow of our lives will carry on, like starlight shining across the universe. Shining through space at the speed of light, possibly reaching the eyes of another intelligent race in so many light years. In our limited time, we must shine as brightly as possible and let our glow dance across the universe in waves of light long after our ephemeral bodies are turned to dust. Speak less, but say more. No fewer people, but make more friends. And never, ever miss an opportunity to shine. This is what it means to be beautiful. The kind of beautiful that will last forever. The kind of beauty that will make you truly immortal. <laughs>